All right, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, want to give all praises unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Ha'kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of your millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, pushing this truth and sincerity all over the earth. Another Shalom to you all for elect out there. And uh, I want to <laughs> touch on something real quick. And I thought about it earlier. <clears throat> and we're going to start off in the book of uh, Revelation. We'll read this, and then we'll go into what I was thinking about. Uh, sorry, Revelation 18 and verse 8. And it reads, Therefore shall our plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord, power, who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall be well, shall be well her, and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour is thy judgment come. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth their merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver, of precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and thine wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and manners of vessels of the most precious wood and brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men and the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all these things which were dainty dainty and goodly are departed from thee and thou shalt find them no more at all the merchant of the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing and saying alas alas that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls for in one hour so great riches is come to naught and every shipmaster and all the ship and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city and the cast and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by the reason of her costliness. Costliness, For in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High have avenged you on her. And I could continue to read that uh, 18th chapter, but I want to read all that to show how the, the other nations are going to be crying and weeping. But the Most High told the Israelites, what? Re rejoice over her and now heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for the Most High had avenged you on her. And it's talking about Babylon the Great. And what I want to touch on real quick is as our enemies are fallen. As their as their power and their rulership over us, and them being above us, and them <clears throat> oppressing us, and their being in rulership, that's coming to an end. And as their rulership is coming to an end, they're getting sad, and they're getting they're gonna cry, and they're trying to hold on to it. But we're rejoicing, we're getting happy when we're seeing this stuff that's going on, man. The stuff that we're seeing in the news, the plagues, the 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 how they talking about chips coming coming um the vaccines and all this stuff. When we see this stuff coming. We start seeing it get pushed all over the media, all over the news and stuff. We're we're getting happy to see these things because why we know because we know that these people's rulership, mainly Esau, but the other nations over us, we know that it's coming to an end. We know that we're getting ready to get that we're getting ready to get set up in power and rule the earth forever in righteousness. That the Israelites' reign is getting ready to come. 
and these other nations are going to be servants and slaves in the kingdom. And all, all the all the money, all the riches, all the fine gold and diamonds and rubies and all this these materials and spices and goods that all these people have and all the money that they made off that, all that's going to be gone. Like the scripture says, so all that, the great riches will be gone in an hour. That's going to be gone and they're going to be crying. They're going to be standing far off. The other nation's going to be seeing Babylon, <clears throat> all that money, all the sla all the money they made off the slaves and, and, the, and the trading. And all the goods and stuff that they got from America and been training with America. All that's going to be gone and they're going to be sad when it happens. Because they know that their rulership is over. Or their part rulership in the kingdom of, you know, but Esau is over with, man. So, we're rejoicing when we see these things, man. When we see America go having problems with China and Russia and having all this stuff. Because, you know, prophecy has happened. World War Three is going to happen. And this place is going to get burnt. And we're going to be very happy because all that bloodshed that's been happening and all the robbery and murder that's in this land, this land has to get cleansed. And that's the only way it's going to get cleansed. Like the scripture says, it's a, it's a, paraphrasing, it says, the land should not be cleansed by the by the blood therein, but of him, but of the man of him that shed it. Some along those lines, paraphrasing it. See? So we're going to rejoice in those days when we see America, when these missiles start flying and start hitting this place and destroying all the infrastructure and all the things that we built up in this place, man. Seeing all your, all these other nations' businesses and, and all these other restaurants that they have and all this money that they made come to naught in, in, in an hour, man. We're going to, we're going to, we're happy in that because we know that we're next. We're up next. Like everybody up, like, uh, like Israelites say, we're up next because we are. So it's nothing to be sad about. It's nothing to be, to be. Oh no! I got all this stuff. I got a life going on here. I got, I got this and this going on for me in America right now, brother. I don't know. I don't know if I'm really ready about that. I'm not ready for the end. I don't want it to come. I want to see how my life turns out. And I want to do this and do that before all this stuff. No, man. You should be happy that your enemies is going down. And there's a scripture for that. And let's get it. Pull it up. Ecclesiastes is twenty-five, and verse seven. And it reads, there, there, there be nine things which have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. And that's the times that we're living in. That's what we're living in. That's what we're seeing. We're living in a time to see the fall of our enemies. We're seeing Esau, his power being so sl slowly stripped from him, slowly taken away from him. That's what we're seeing right now. We've seen him starting to, he, he think he still have power. Esau think he still knows what's going on. He think he's getting ready to, he's getting ready to put in and put in plan this new world order that he has going on. But you understand the most high is controlling you, man. The most high is using you. You understand that you think you've got the little government and the presidents in your and your uh chess piece but the most high has you in his check and in, in his chess pieces man so you, you think you checkmate and doing all the other stuff but the most high is making you do that because the most high is about to bring you people down and we're going to be very glad and we're going to rejoice when we see that man putting you nations in slavery and y'all hey <clears throat> y'all got to pay for what y'all did so we're rejoicing in these things Nothing sad to see, and you know some 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 Israelites, you no know, brother Zeke, you you saw can be saved, brother. We do this, and you gotta just love, just love. And these people of the world just gotta love. You can't you can't do this is hatred right here. You preaching hate, you doing that. They love and you preaching hate. They ain't preaching no hate. Preaching judgment, You're preaching righteousness, preaching the truth. And you can't go around doing all the iniquity that y'all have done and think nothing's gonna happen to you. Y'all think all the money and all the goods out there y'all made off bloodshed and on off us. Y'all think that's just going to slide away scot-free? The most high chosen people, you think you're just going to be able to do oppress them and do all, do all types of things to them and think nothing's going to happen? Think you don't have to pay for that? Think a recompense is not going to happen? No, man. And we're getting happy because why? Because we know that you guys are getting ready to pay for what you did. That's why, that's why we're rejoicing. I know all this wickedness, the cigarette, the weed, the 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 black, the blackness, the, the pants sagging, the the unbrotherly love, all this other stuff is coming to an end, man. You can't wait to get out of here.
tired of being able to walk around, walking around this place and having a problem with your brother just because he looked like you. Same skin tone, same, same, just look just like you were brother. Got a problem with him. That's the curses right there. We're tired of being under curses. We're tired of being under Esau. We're tired of being oppressed by these other nations. We're tired of being the, the, the bottom, the bottom. But we're really the chosen people. So do you, do you do you honestly think the people that's supposed to be ruling the earth? Do you think we're happy in the position that we're in right now? But we understand the position while we we in right now and what we did and how we got here. And we understand what we have to do to get out of this position. It's not, it's not a beautiful thing knowing that we did, we the chosen people, but we're under Esau. We're the chosen people are the most high, but we we under their rule, under their subjection, under their laws, under their rules. We're ready to get up out here. We're ready to put you devils down because y'all proud. You that take that proud spirit off y'all, and we be raised up and we rule the earth as kings. <laughs> We're gonna be kings, man. And that brotherly love to come back. We're waiting for the kingdom and the new bodies, which is promised to only the Israelites and all these other things that come, that come, <clears throat> uh, coming in the king. You see. So let's get this. So this is what we're waiting for right here. Second Ezra 6. And I'm going to start at 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born, of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See? This, this, this is what we get happy about because we know the white man's rulership, Esau, his rulership is, is getting ready to come to an end. And y'all not going to be in power for a second longer than what y'all supposed to be. Not even a millisecond longer than what y'all supposed to be. Y'all have a specific time that y'all were going to rule this earth and the specific time that it was going to come to an end, man. Most High is working everything out, man. Work high, Most High is working on his time. We're not working our own time. Because we're, we're, we were ready to leave about yesterday. But, hey, we got we to gotta endure this stuff, man. This uh, One thing about the truth is you have to endure because do you know you get vexed? The more the more you understand this truth, the more you get into it, and the more that you know, the more it vexes you, man. Because you understand these people are base men. You understand Esau is low. You understand these people are really not who who they portrayed themselves to be. <clears throat> so it vexes you to know that these low level people are above you, ruling you. And then when you walk around, you see Esau walking around. You see like these these feeble these people are above us. These are the people that's ruling over us right now, man. Oh man. You can't ready to get out of here, man. These people who Ernest Esau, man. You get, it just it, it, it vexes you, man. It gets to you like yeah, it makes you want to laugh sometimes too, man. To hide to hide the pain, man. Like yeah, these people right here. And you watch videos of the Karens and all these these Esau doing Edomites doing just just dumb things, man. They see them doing like wow, these are the people that's ruling over us right now. These are the people laws that we have to follow. Yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> But hey, we almost out of here though. But we we're rejoicing in seeing the fall of you guys losing your power though. This is a funny thing, cause do you understand what you guys are really, are really? Cause the best believe the top, the top Edomites, the Rothschilds, the banking fam, the, the top of them, best believe they know that they're losing power. But they're, they're not gonna tell you. They're not gonna show it. So what they trying to make it seem is is like they have everything under control. But they know. That their their uh their rulership is coming to an end. They know that they're they're losing time, man. Time is not on their side. <clears throat> but I want to read this because it's the point that I want to get out of it. Romans nine and seventeen. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh. Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will harden 
and whom he will, he hardeneth. <clears throat> See? Now, Esau, you're only in power. It's because the Most High used you to punish us. Understand that. <laughs> that you're only in power because the Most High used you to punish us. So the Most High puts you in power over us. You Do you think that the Most High can take you out of power in a, in a blink of an eye, a snap of a finger? Take you out of power just like that. So, with that being said, if he puts you guys in power, you guys are going to be taken out of power. And he and you were reason right. And the reason is the same reason he re, he raised Pharaoh up back in the day. He harnessed heart so he can show his power in the earth. And that's why you guys have all this technology. You guys have the weaponry, the armory. You guys have this great, great country that everybody wants to go to and to follow the ways of you to learn like you, talk like you, do everything like you in this place, look like you, dress like you, talk like you, smell like you, just be like you. You have the, all the all the the medicines, the technology to do all types of things, all types of wonderful things. So then, when you get taken out of power, they're gonna be like, "Who, who took these people out of power? Who, who, who defeated? Who took down America? America was that big bad city. That they, they had everything. Who, who did that? So I might show my power in the end that my name might be declared throughout the, all the earth. See, and Esau don't know that. Most High is raising you guys up to be the, to be exactly who the Most High wants you guys to be, just to take you guys out of power, man. You you guys are not in control. You guys don't really have the power seat. That's all of you. How about Shimmy Yawasha to have the power seat, man? Because he's hey, Most High is using Most High is using you as a pawn. You saw. I don't think you guys realize that, but he is. He wants you guys to do something. He gonna. Uh, Boom, get that done. And you guys get it done. And you guys thinking, you guys thinking the whole time, yeah, we get one step closer to start rolling on these on these Negroes. We're going to get them. We're going to get them. But you don't understand that you're not going to get all of us. You're only going to get the ones that the Most High wants you to get. Because you're not going to be like his making out of here. No matter what you try to do, no matter what you have to say, you're not going to be able to touch that like Esau. Because why? Because it was already written that the, the elect was going to make it out. That's who Yahweh Shah is coming to get. Coming to save is the elect out of the nation of Israel. So do you think that that's already written and it's not going to happen? What did the scripture say? Didn't the scripture say that uh, his words should not come back unto him void? And the most high is not a man that he should lie. So you think that was a, a fault a fault part of the book, but the rest of it's true. That you guys just get to live heavy, uh, happily ever after. <laughs> Run through, run through the field of roses, being untouched. He saw it. No man, it's not the case at all. And we're rejoicing in that. And we we know since we know that it's the truth, we're rejoicing. We're getting happy to see that you guys are losing that power seat. You guys don't understand that your days are numbered. You're not going to be in power more than one second than you're supposed to be. One second. No sides not gonna oh, uh, I messed up. They 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 continued their reign for twenty years way longer than I expected. No man, <laughs> Most High is not like the Most High. It's perfect. I'm not gonna find fault with the Most High. <clears throat> and to touch on that point, how you guys are very proud. And it's gonna end it off right here. Obadiah one and verse one. The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord, power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us ride, rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, though art thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. See, the pride of your heart have deceived. You think oh, we got the best technology, the best weapon. We, we got the best everything. Who's going to take us out of power? That's how you guys think. And that's what um, it was a while ago. I believe it was last year when Trump when Trump was bragging about um, bragging about the military and, and things like that. See, you guys are very, very, uh, very proud. But it's deceived, y'all. You know why it's deceived? Because y'all don't understand that y'all going to be taken out of power. Y'all, 
Esau does not see himself being taken out of power. Esau, he sees himself ruling the earth forever and forever. That thou dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to it's like it. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and thou set thy nest among the stars, who's gonna bring you down? Thence will I bring thee down, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. See? The power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is going to bring you down, Esau. That's what that, and that's why we need to rejoice because the Lord said. The Lord said he's going to bring you down. To all this power and, and weaponry that y'all think y'all have. Y'all got to bless with the sword. And y'all think you guys are the most top people on the earth. Y'all going to see, man. That pride. When that pride is cut short of you in these, in these days that's getting ready to come. You're going to be rejoicing, man. <laughs> y'all going to be struggling. Y'all going to be crying and weeping and, and, and hurt. But we're going to be smiling and laughing at y'all. Because y'all power is being stripped. And y'all and Esau can't Esau can't even imagine having a so-called black man rule over him and telling him what to do. That's why we tell these people they go into slavery, the kingdom must fall, and they hey stick st hey, stick their chin up at you and keep moving. Yeah, these Negroes think they're gonna rule over us. Eh, isn't that funny? And then they talk about that, and then they talk about their military and they get into all that. But they don't understand that it's really gonna happen. It's gonna it's gonna creep on you guys unaware and when you guys least suspect it. Then boom, it's gonna hit you. Next thing you know, you and you in slavery with chains on your neck and your arms and your feet. Working in fields from sun up to, to sun up, crying, bleeding, aching, not a smile on your face, hurt. But it's coming, man. So I'm gonna close out. Give all praises unto Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakhadash, to double honor to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, shalom to you, brothers, pushing the truth and sincerity all over the earth. Another shalom to you, hopeful elect, hopeful elect out there. I'll catch you guys in another lesson. Shalom.